there, it's Morgan with PHS. As someone with curly hair, I know that humidity levels make a big difference in determining a final outcome. The same is true for paper in any printing process. It might not look it, but paper is actually incredibly sponge-like or hygroscopic. If you leave paper just sitting out instead of storing it properly, you'll end up with paper that has a ton of moisture in it. You can even see traces of it on your equipment sometimes. Using paper like this can cause curling and paper jams. On the other hand, you don't want your paper to be too dry either. This can cause static and make paper stick together during a print run. It can also affect your ink's viscosity. So what's the right balance? Well, it depends on your environment and the type of paper you're using. There's some debate on what the optimal humidity level is, but it ranges somewhere between 40 to 60%. PHS suggests a few things. One, keep track of your humidity levels by keeping a device that measures humidity, called a hygrometer, in your print shop, and make adjustments to maintain a stable humidity level. Two, Store paper in a controlled environment, like in a drawer or a bin. 3. Only open paper packages at time of use. Otherwise, keep them packaged. Keeping your paper happy is a constant balance. It may seem like a small detail, but paper moisture can have a big effect on any printed project. Hey, you know what they say, happy paper, happy... Mm. Nothing rhymes with that. But you get the picture. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.